Good morning, good morning, good morning, 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 morning. These are the colours I am going to use. And they are Daniel Smith's paints, beautiful paints. And I'll let you have a look at those. Look at those. Da -da 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 -da. Love Daniel Smith paint. And I am going to go full on with mindfulness painting. So I'm going to do a seascape in those colours. So it should be relaxing to watch if I do it proper. It should be nice and relaxing to watch. Be able to listen to my dulcet tones. And the paint pink chip should be good at the end of it. Um, I do have hay fever. I will be sniffling through the entire thing. Yeah, prepare yourself for that a lot. Because I've got hay fever and I can't stop. I'm going to uh, tip this up out of the way. That's another colour that is Daniel Smith. And it's Shadow Violet that I love. I'm also going to be using Sea Salt. And I'm going to be using a flat brush or a wash brush or a one stroke or a, um, I think you could just call it a brush, can't you? Uh, get some paint ready. I shall do squirtiness first. And then remember why I don't use my tape to uh, prop up the board, because I get it wet. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'll be there. Talk amongst yourselves. We're off. <coughs> okay. Um, today's um, malarkey has a curious title um, called Tumbling Off My Bike. And uh, you'll understand um, why it's been called that when I... Uh, Start my little chat. I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to slow it right down. All my brush strokes are going to be going nice and gently like that. There's a grey hair on my paper and I'm just going to leave it. You find that a little bit irritating. I've been getting um, puddles gather down here. So I'm going to tip the paper on its side like that. And let that dry for a little bit. Somebody's pinging. Oh, it's a chess move. Such foolishness. Right. I don't want the picture lying in puddles, so uh, I'm just going to take off some of the excess. I don't know if you can see the paper shining away.
And uh, that's the top of the picture. That's going to be the bottom. And I need to get some, what colour am I going to put? Manganese blue hue. Whenever you say that, you have to pause. Shall I use a proper mixing brush? I think I shall. Um, quick, quick weather forecast. Um, I'm going to do it how I do it now. Right. Um, as I look through my window, there's a little bit of breeze. I can see the trees moving around. Um, it's a nice day. There's uh, some clouds on the horizon. But um, that's about it, really. I think we're going to have a very nice day. And I will say what I always say when I think it's going to be a very nice day. Got a problem here. This blue isn't right. Houston, we have a problem. I'm gonna have to go with that one. Feel as though I'm letting you down. Okay, so we are doing stuff. I'm going to wait a little bit longer, or shall I do a little bit more fannying about? Yes, um, I've got an anniversary, I've got a big anniversary coming up soon. I'll be married. Um, for um, 30 years it's definitely in um, it's definitely in um, July the end of July and um, just stick with that there it's definitely the end of July and um, in all those years that we have been married, my wife has remained from beginning to end devoid of any empathy. Good morning, Cheryl. Or compassion. Um, so, we haven't been together that long. And I, uh, I bought her a car. And I cycled to work. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Bought her a car and I cycled to work. And, um, One particular day, I was cycling back from that uh, Mansfield because I went to work on a push bike, and uh, my the little thing that was um, attached my light because it was dark to my um, spokes. It somehow broke and it got tangled up in my um, wheel, causing the wheel to collapse. And as I'm going down Hermitage Lane, top speed, uh, my bike ruckled and I broke my fall with my face. Uh, because it was raining and it was icy rain because it was in winter um, I couldn't really feel 
the damage that had been done. But I had hit the ground at some pace, full in the face. And um, done some serious damage. Anyway, my bike was was written off, so I put pop that into somebody's garden. And because uh, casualty wasn't that far away, I thought, well, I'll, I'll walk. I'll walk to casualty. And um, a strange thing was happening was that people were stopping in their cars and asking me if I was okay. To which I said, I'm just just off to uh, casualty. It's okay. It's only down there. And. Um, I walked, I walked into casualty and joined the queue, as you do, and the woman in the kiosk, I don't know what we call them, um, they call them a woman, uh, looked at me and pressed an emergency button and these people came running towards me. Popped me in to, onto a trolley and um, put me onto a trolley and raced me into this thing that I know not. And uh, they booked me a CAT scan, and whilst I was waiting for the cat scan my face was completely numb and uh he he pulled a chair up made himself comfortable and was just picking things out my face um and it was bits of road bits of gravel and it went on for ages and you could hear them dropping into the uh what do they call them? Those little kidney jar things. And uh, anyway, they did sort of tests and to see if I was suffering from concussion or anything like that. And um, they'd got my wallet and they were trying to contact the next of kin. Who was actually Julia because we'd recently married. And uh, they were struggling to get in touch with her. They couldn't find her. So they needed consent to do what the, you know, serious head injury needed consent to uh, carry on with whatever they were going to do. And so, uh, but they, uh, they went in with the CAT scan. And they said, uh, oh, you're, you're very, very lucky, Mr. Evans. Everything's fine. You can't, yeah, we'll, we'll just contact your, uh, see if we can contact your uh, your wife again. She doesn't seem to be picking up. Is there anybody else we can ring? My mother doesn't come out very well in this either. And uh, I thought he could ring my, he could ring my mother. And, uh, so, uh, so without further ado, they rang my mother a couple of times and she wasn't picking up either. But eventually, Julia picks up. She's at my mother's. There appeared to be some kind of party going on in the house this is about i came off my bike at about four o'clock and this is about half past eight at night yeah and uh, there appeared to be some kind of party going off in the uh, in the house there's some they were having a whale all the time they seem to be you know they were having a lot of fun and um Got to let this dry. So 
So eventually Julia picked the phone up and and the nurse handed the phone to me and said, you tell her. So I explained to my wife, uh, who promised only, only a couple of weeks before, that uh, she promised to look after me through sickness and in health. Uh, I explained what had happened. I could hear my mother, my own, my own mother in the background saying, who is it? And, and this hurts, this, this hurts now. I, I still am struggling to say it. She, uh, Julia shouted back, it's David. He's tumbled off his bike and put the phone down. That was 30 years ago. Still hasn't apologised. Oh, how did I get home? I got the bus. I think I got in about half past ten. Well, I wonder where you'd been. Face, by the way, I'm sat on the bus with my face wrapped up like the invisible man i don't mean the invisible man because you wouldn't have seen him would you i mean when he used to go out and about he used to wrap his bandages all around his face i'm sat on the bus like that felt ridiculous everybody's staring yeah uh anyway that's the first stage of uh of mindfulness and uh, i hope you all found that relaxing um That's it. See you later. It's just me and you, Cheryl. I don't know where the rest of them are. Do a little bit, a little bit of a close up look at these bits of um, stuff. Should I put big light on? That's uh, 